This LFP battery gets you 500 miles of range and it charges 1.5 miles per second. This is a battery swapping station. Look how fast it does this. And it's done. Under 70 seconds, we flew all the way to China to show you tech that hopes to make gas stations obsolete. When it comes to electric cars, I always say that range is king. And today we are at CATL, the world's largest battery maker, as they unveil three new batteries that are pushing the limits on what you even think is possible. You might not realize it, but CATL's batteries are already powering one in three EVs all around the world, from Tesla to Ford, BMW, and really everything in between. But the tech I'm about to show you is going to make them way cheaper, safer, and actually go farther than any gas car. And it's not just for power passenger cars. Their tech is already in electric buses, trucks, and even airplanes. They're the brains behind the power of some of the best EVs out there. They're already in over 50 brands worldwide. Think of them like the Intel of the EV world. First up, they just announced Naxtra. This is the world's first mass-produced sodium ion battery, and this is a huge breakthrough. We know that sodium is inherently safer than lithium. You might have heard of lithium referred to as white gold. Well, sodium is a thousand times more abundant on the Earth's crust, so it just reduces dependence on lithium resources. The Naxtra also avoids expensive cobalt and nickel using affordable materials like iron and manganese oxide, potentially reducing EV costs by 20 to 30 percent compared to LFP batteries. There are two versions of these new sodium ion based batteries from CATL, a high voltage one made for passenger EVs and a low voltage one made for heavy duty trucks. This passenger EV battery right here has an energy density of 175 watt hours per kilogram, which is the highest among sodium ion batteries worldwide, and it's comparable to LFP batteries. This sodium ion based Naxtra battery completely solves any battery performance issues in extreme cold weather, maintaining 90% of available power even in temperatures of negative 40 degrees Celsius. And that's even while you're at an extremely low state of charge of 10%. It also offers a 500 kilometer range that's 310 miles and is good for over 10,000 cycles. This significantly reduces maintenance costs. And it supports super fast charging with a peak of 5C, meaning you can charge from 30 to 80% in 10 minutes. So that was the high voltage battery. And then over here we have a low voltage battery. This is a 24 volt for heavy duty trucks. And what they both have in common is what they've just announced here at the Shanghai Auto Show, that sodium ion chemistry, they both have it. And we know with EVs, the Achilles heel is really those extreme temperatures, the really hot temps and the really low temps. And they're showing right here, it's at negative 40 degrees. You can actually see the frost in there. It feels cold and it's 90% efficient. And that's even at 10% state of charge. So right now we feel that it's cold. You can see that it's still powering up this ball and I can even charge up my phone. Another advantage of this 24 volt battery is that it offers over eight years of service life, reducing the total life cycle cost by over 60% compared to traditional lead acid batteries. It makes it more eco-friendly, more efficient, and much more viable for commercial applications. Another big advantage is the supply chain. So they use sodium, iron, manganese, and aluminum instead of copper. So this really cuts down on the supply chain and also more sustainable materials. And this will reduce the overall cost of the EVs so you can put them into budget EVs also in extreme environments like Alaska or Arizona and they don't need costly thermal management systems. The low voltage battery also has unique advantages including deep discharge across the entire capacity and the ability to start in extreme conditions even after being idle for over a year. Now what all these people are huddled around is the next big thing that was unveiled here. This is a free void dual power battery and this has two independent energy zones so it's really like the Swiss Army Army knife a battery you have one zone that can handle your daily commutes and another that you could use for long road trips so it really combines the different cell chemistry so come over here and check this out the free void dual power battery is CATL's latest dual power architecture meaning the battery pack has two independent energy zones think how aviation grade dual engines work together on your next flight these two energy zones work together to maximize the stability and safety of power output for optimal efficiency and performance and this is really the secret sauce over here, you're able to combine two different chemical systems into one battery pack. So we can do NCM, 
LFP and we're putting them together, you're going to have 60% more energy in the same pack. So this is where you're going to see more range coming out of your vehicles. We're able to see it perform at those extreme temperatures and charge at speeds that you guys won't believe. This architecture actually has five dual power functions. So remember when I had my accident in my Model 3 and the high voltage battery shut down? This new architecture by CATL is designed to give you uninterrupted high voltage power even in extreme scenarios like collisions or short circuits. For example, the BMS control system can immediately identify and cut off a faulty unit. This redefines safety standards for high voltage systems. It also has a dual low voltage supply and a dual structure feature. So if one side of the battery structure is damaged due to external damage, the other side of the battery structure, the undamaged side, can still function completely normal and the car can still drive at safe speeds. The benefits also extend to dual thermal management and dual thermal runaway protection. So if the battery cell in a certain zone experiences thermal runaway, it can direct the system to immediately open the directional flow channel to quickly discharge the high temperature gas outside the battery pack. Think how a spacecraft can separate and isolate in an emergency. This design makes the runaway area an independent and enclosed unit, making sure that the other batteries are protected in this environment. And because of this flexible combination of chemical systems, the dual power battery can intelligently regulate and allocate the two energy regions based on the car's driving status and your driving habits. So it's this self-forming anode tech that really gives you that extreme energy density where we're seeing ranges up to 900 miles or more where you could actually drive from LA to Denver without having to stop and charge at all. And we're talking extreme weather conditions too. Like it doesn't matter if it's super hot, super cold. You don't need a thermal management system, no heat pump, none of that. So this is just one example, but they've developed three versions. One mixes sodium ion and LFP for cold weather performance. Another pairs LFP with LFP for 600 miles of range at dirt cheap costs. And the fanciest combo is the NCM to NCM chemistry that hits a 12C charging rate with over a megawatt of power. Even when your SOC drops to 20%, it can still output over 600 kilowatts of power for super fast charging. And now the second gen Shenxing super fast charging battery. This LFP battery gets you 500 miles of range and it charges at speeds of 12C. So that is 1.5 miles per second. This is the world's first LFP battery that combines an 800 kilometer range with a peak charging of 12C. At 12C, the peak charging is around 1.3 megawatts or 1300 kilowatts, which means a 30 second charge adds 75 kilometers of range with a rate of 2.5 kilometers per second. So a five minute charge nets you 520 kilometers of range. Even at negative 10 degrees, Celsius, it can still charge from 5 to 80% in 15 minutes. This cuts 35% off the industry's current best winter charging times. And it's an ultimate breakthrough really when it comes to reducing winter charging times. I'm also told to get to a 12C charging rate. It took a comprehensive breakthrough by CATL's R&D team across material science, product innovation, and engineering. In addition, the second gen Shenxing super fast charging battery maintains this power output across the entire temperature and SOC range. Even at low SOC at room temperature, it can still provide 830 kilowatts watts of power output. Take it under a negative 10 degrees Celsius with low state of charge and it still maintains its specs of 0 to 60 miles per hour without problems. They're aiming to make the Shenxing super fast charging battery the standard configuration for EVs. We were also able to see their Qi Lin battery which is the industry's first large surface cell cooling technology. So what we have over here is an inside look at how they're able to achieve those super fast charging speeds. So typically with the battery we have this skateboard like design and it's liquid cooled underneath. But what they've done here is they've added to the contact points right here. These go in between the cells. They've quadrupled that liquid cooling ability so you're able to go at these high speeds, get the energy in there. These cells are also designed to prevent the spreading and ignition in case of thermal runaway on a single cell. It isolates smoke and high voltage and features an explosion proof valve located on the bottom of the cells. Of course, you get a peak charging rate of 12C with an average rate rate of 6C, meaning you can charge from 10 to 80% in just seven minutes. So ultimately you're able to maximize charging speed because you have this kind of design. You know, I started driving my first EV and it only had a 75 mile range. And it's incredible to think about the advancements that have happened just in the last 10 years. But I feel like right now with what we're seeing today here at the Shanghai Auto Show at the CATL booth, I am incredibly excited about the future. We're at this pivotal point where we can really see EV adoption
conversation start to take off and it makes me excited. So let me know what you guys think about it in the comments below and thanks for watching today. I'll catch you next time.